Hello everybody, it's Serafina Vinci here, and today I'm just doing another makeup video since I have practice in a couple hours, so I'm just going to be doing my makeup for that. So we're going to start off with moisturizer. So, I have practice today, so that's why I'm doing this. Um, every Tuesday, I have practice. I don't do my makeup for every practice. Actually, this is the first time I'm doing makeup for practice. But I just thought it'd be a fun video to share, and I'm feeling a bit better about myself. Like this past Sunday there was the casting call for uh, Texas International Fashion Week here and I win it was very nerve-wracking I was very nervous but there were some people there that were very nice and it was also their first time like doing a casting call at the place where I am practicing and modeling and yeah I talked to them and felt better, got better, because talking to people was actually nice. But it was still nerve-wracking, had to wait forever to actually get back there to do the little kind of audition. There was only three judges, thank God. The last time I went to a casting call, the last and first time that I went to a casting call there were um, multiple there was I think four judges at the time and that was scary but I had done it it was scary very scary but and I did mess up so and my instructor said that if you do like mess up when wearing heels that you will not be casted because you must you show that you can't wear heels or at, least, at least for the woman anyway men didn't need to wear heels or they don't need to wear heels because you know they're men no offense to them a lot of men can wear heels and actually look good in heels but in general just it's not the men were the ones that like were not specified to wear heels, but I guess they could have if they wanted to. Way too high. And I didn't wear makeup for the casting call because it was late than where we were going and I was already nervous as it was. Because I'm so nervous of actually like being picked. That just the doing makeup was like not something I could do at that time. I was so worried, and then picking the outfit was nerve wracking too. Because I didn't know what to wear. The only thing they had was woman was my wear heels and you need to dress to impress and I ended up dressing in black jeans um, and what was it? a black crop top with a short sleeve black jacket this kind of sweater thing I think I'm looking good with foundation anyway so I'm not gonna do anything too crazy today 
because it is just practice, hour long practice. Sometimes it does run shorter depending on how much people are there and how fast we get through everything else. I think what makes me so nervous for these Tuesdays, even though I've been going for like, I don't know, since April, I think. As Even though I've been going since then, um, I still get like really nervous. And I think that's because mostly I see this as like um, something to be afraid of instead of like actually thinking of it as something, something good, you know? See it as something really scary. I know that's my fault, like my problem, and I have to deal with that, but... And I'm trying to just, it is still nervous, nerve wracking. Especially when like, almost like every practice there's like someone new because like everyone, like people sign up like all the time with the modeling company or agency. So it's just, it's very, like you always, you're like always meeting new people. So it's kind of really scary. Oh, this setting powder I used was the NYX setting powder, while the concealer I'm using is the LA Colors concealer. A very light color since I'm kind of pale. And the NYX. And the foundation was matte and poreless. Um, Fit Me Maybelline New York in the shade Fair Porcelain. Oh my god, I'm not right handed, so this oh, has to be done with like my left hand. Job my eye. Try and cover the little spot I have up here. See it's getting concealed a bit. the best in makeup but I think I'm looking good. Most of the redness is gone, like covered. And like my eye bags are not as bad as they were before I put the concealer and foundation on. I'm gonna take a little bit more concealer. See if I can hide them more. I think that's good. It's not as prominent anymore. I mean, it's still there, but not as. I could use more concealer, but. Rather not. But at least being as natural as I can be is a good thing. I'm gonna set this with the NYX powder again, setting powder again. Okay. So like 
the other time I did this, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy for anything. For like my eyes or my lips. So right now I'm just gonna curl my lashes. And then use some LA Colors mascara. Just mascara. See if I can get out more of this. That's right here. After mascara. I don't know. Should I put on any eye color? Should I put on any co eye color? It's just practice. Let me see. can do We're gonna use this palette. It's the Beauty Treats Modern Metallic Eye Collection. But first, I'm going to start with the this white color right here on the Color Mates eyeshadow palette, just for like the inner corner.
you can't really tell that it's there unless you like look close but you can kind of see it and my phone quality is not that good either so that's that so now i'm gonna take the modern metallic eye collection palette the beauty treats and do something here So I don't want to do too like bold or bright or anything like that. Something just maybe simple. I get played with indecision a lot. It's why I don't like want anything or like ask for anything because I really don't know a lot of the time. I don't know if that's common if you guys deal with that or but it, it is common for me, like I feel that way like all the time. I'm gonna go in with this color. It's a little bright bronze one here. I did say I didn't want anything bold and then this is kind of bold. Can't really tell it's there. Let's see if I can get some more. Okay. Now let me go on with another color. Um, I think it's going to be, judging by my clothes, how about just a light color? Um, what color? These are like multicolored. This is like yellow, blue, white, purple, and green a little bit. What about best? I think I'll go for the green color there. Right there. Oh, man, no. Trying to only put it on my eyelid. These are not very pigmented either. cute weird facial expression it is makeup so you're always gonna like make weird facial expressions when doing it it's just like a part of it you know I can't really tell. Unless you look closer. I think my eyes are like hooded eyelids, I think. So, so another thing. It's kind of hard to do makeup like this when you can't like see like your full eyelid. Cause like, look, you want to close my eye, like, like my eyelid isn't like out all the way, you know? Like some other people's. I'm just 
don't like really see all of it. I have to like raise my eyebrows up more to like get to like the rest of it, like at least like some of it, you know. It's hard to keep your eyebrows raised for so long. I'm trying to see if I can tell. So you, like, I can't really tell, but I'm trying to see what angle this brush is. Okay, I think that's good. So that's with that. Now we're gonna move on to the lips. And what I'm just gonna use is just um, my Nivea, Nivea Shimmer Lip Care. Is there anything else about him? This is. It looks like this. So that's just what I'm gonna be using. <laughs> Cute looking at the lips. Sorry. So not glossy or anything, they just, it's just like an extra layer on my lips. So there's no gloss or anything, but it's there. I think I'm gonna brush my hair too, just a little bit before I go, so. But yeah, that is the completed makeup look, even though you can't like really tell with the eyes, but that is, I make up for today. I'll be posting this the next day, which is Wednesday. But this is Tuesday. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, probably for October, I am gonna try to do some like themed makeup looks. Hopefully, it'll be better. But I am trying to do this, and I hope you guys did enjoy the trailer, also for the story that I want to write. I, I was very proud of the trailer, even though I did use clips from The Maze Runner and Teen Wolf. But like I said in the description, I don't. It's not like a fan fiction or anything, or like alternate universe. It's just so that just made it easier for me to use those clips to show what my story would be like, as it's gonna be like kind of like a horror thriller type story. So, but none of those characters are gonna be in it. The horse is the same, the mythology is the same, but the character is completely different. Anyway, so I hope that clears some things up and thank you guys for, so thank you again guys for watching and please, as you know, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye!